Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkazonki, and I finally, finally worked up the motivation to go back to Glacier's. I was trying to avoid it for as long as possible, but I actually have done quite a few kills since last episode. Those kills were a few days ago, but it's time to go back. Uh, I got my Penansora. One thing that is really discouraging about Glacier's is it's so hard to do more than one trip in a row because if you don't have this Penansora, to me, it just makes doing Glacier's absolutely miserable. So I really only try to do them with the Penansora. So what we're going to be doing today is killing a few Glacers. I'm going to be showing you guys a few loots on video. And who knows, we might even get some boots on video. That would be really cool. I hope that happens. I'm not completely confident. And also, remember, at the end of the video, I'm going to be showing my tab. And I'll also be showing you guys any drops that I got uh, since the last episode in screenshot form. So stay tuned for that, and also, of course, we'll have the price check as the, at the end of the video, so uh, don't be too impatient for that. It's probably everyone's favorite part. For our first kill, we get some Runite Ore. That's not bad. Good 30k there. 20k. Next kill down. I wonder what it is. Oh, shards! I love shards. They're like my favorite drop here, other than studs, so that is good news. Shards are ready. Okay, now we have uh, Headless Arrows. That's not too bad. Mm. Another pair of shards. Sorry, I was drinking there. <laughs> anyway, not the most uh, professional sounding video I know. Before we get another kill, I just want to say that hopefully, since I'm vidding, Jagex will realize that and give me some insane luck and I'll be able to get 30 shards in one trip. Who knows, but, uh, yeah, that's what I'm aiming for. Next kill up is, um, Mud Runes and Crimsons. No shards. Steam Runes, that is a disgusting drop. Not even gonna pick it up. Coins. I hate getting coins drops because I always have to, like... Oh. I always have to count the coins drops and then add it to the tab because, uh, yeah, that's how I do things. And this drop we get the raw sharks. Oh, could it be shards? Nope, it's adamant bolts. That gets me every time. I swear Jagex put adamant bolts unfinished here just to troll people. Oh joy, more coins. Let's see how many that is. 8.8k. That is bank loot. And blue dragon high drop. I thought it was shards at first because you can't really see anything on the ground. That usually means it's shards, but uh, nope. The, uh, the the hides of the blue dragon. And before studs. Oh, watermelon seeds. I think that's a rare drop. Not completely sure. Oh, one watermelon seed, really? That's not even worth picking up. More runite ore. I'll take it. 30k. Studs, please. Oh. What is this beauty? Oh, water talismans. I could swear it was a shard. Maybe that's just my mind wanting the shard so bad that it's playing tricks on me. That's probably the case. Pure essence. It's a terrible drop, and it sucks. But, that's okay. Oh my goodness. I got mud runes. Is this drop even worth showing? Probably not. Pretty much just crimson charms. And we get more pure essence for the next drop. Before I was so rudely frozen, I got the exact same drop that I got last time. Pure essence and blue charms. Next drop is uh, water talismans. Yay, more shards. I actually did skip a couple of kills just because I got steam runes and they're not even worth showing. So I got glitched again. Uh, as you can see, the glacis are out, and if I try to attack him, it just says you can't attack that glacis at the moment. Um, so because of this, I'm just going to end the trip here because I am really frustrated with glacis. Uh, not only do I hate killing them, but also uh, that very glitch that you, get, you guys just saw, uh, that's happened to me so many times lately. And it's really just frustrating because um, one trip I had to 
go hide behind a pillar so the glacier couldn't attack me and then I had to log in and log out um, and that means that you can attack a different glacier so you don't you aren't stuck with that glitch glacier because you can't attack any other glacier unless you log in and log out and that happened to me three times in one trip so hopefully you guys can understand why I'm a bit frustrated with glaciers and also since they nerfed the uh, accuracy on Dragar maces so it takes longer to kill them as well uh, anyway, I will get out my tab for you guys now and show you exactly what I got and how many kills I'm at and all the money I've made. Okay, now just to go over some screenshots. I know most people have already seen this, but uh, this was the first boot that I got during, uh, I believe, episode 2 of the Glacier series. And then in episode 3, I showed myself getting Rage Fire boots and Steadfast boots uh, in the third episode. So now in the fourth episode, I actually did get one more boot drop. Uh, quite a few people already know because there's a lot of people in my FC when I got the drop, which was several days ago, but um, I got Steadfast Boots again. I went there and I did, I don't know, about 30 kills or so. It wasn't even a very long trip, but I did happen to pick up some Steadfast. And also, uh, not a whole lot of people saw the short little update video I made yesterday, but for those who did, I mentioned that I sold my boots because I do not trust the RS economy, and boots had... Uh, gone up quite a bit so I wanted to sell them while they're high so they didn't crash and lose any value however I will be keeping the coins so the price check will still be valid um, so first of all I sold the two steadfast boots for a little over 62 mil uh, and that was under med that they sold for sadly and then I sold the glaven boots for just a little over 11 mil and I sold the rage fires for 11.6 mil so now it's time to go to the price check and uh, tally up all the loot that I've gotten. Okay, and in my inventory we have all the regular drops. Um, and then we're now going to withdraw the cash that I got from selling my boots. So this is going to be almost all of my cash. Uh, another reason why I sold the boots is, uh, as you can see, as you will see now from my coin pouch. See, without the Glacier loots, I am extremely low on cash. I'm down to 273k without the money from Glacier. So, uh, anyway, we're going to price check all of this. As always, the uh, the normal loots first. You do make a few mil from these, so it's not too bad. Um, I have gotten a lot of rune items and, and such, so these should add up to a nice value once I'm done with the series. Uh, that rune ore and the water talismans do add up to quite a bit. So, looks like we're going to have over 5 mil just from the regular loots. Nearly 6 mil. Uh, those blue dragon hides are worth a lot more than I thought. And then also, we have 788k coins from coin drops. So, uh, it adds up to 6.7 mil, and that's without the boot drops. So, as you can see, I got a fair amount of money from that. And then these shards, uh, I'm not exactly sure how much that's worth, but I am at 76 shards now. And if we add up the cash, I'm at uh, 91.6 mil total. So I've already made over 100 mil from Glacier's, if you count in the fact uh, of all these shards. I have no idea, to be completely honest, when I'm going to go back there. As I said, Glacier's have been really glitchy lately. There's been a few Glacier's that you just can't attack. There's been a few Glacier's that when you attack them, they're already at half health. Even after they are spawned, it's not like someone else killed them and left. They're just at half health, and then you kill them and you don't get a drop. And as I showed earlier in this video, there are, of course, the troll glacors that don't let you attack their glacites. So, um, I don't know if I'm just doing something wrong. Uh, in my opinion, it's probably just a glitch. And uh, I might not be able to go too hardcore on glacors until they're patched. Hopefully that happens soon. Uh, I am going to submit a bug report on the forums, and I suggest that you guys all do that as well. Just go to the bug reports in the RS website and tell them that the glacors are glitched and you can't attack the glacites after they come out. That would be helpful, especially for those of you out there that enjoy killing glacors. So anyway, thanks for watching, and if you want to see the series continue, uh, you can always come in my friends chat and join and talk to me. Um, and also, please feel free to leave a like on the video if you do enjoy it, and I, I'll appreciate that a lot. So uh, thanks for watching, and until the next episode, farewell.